So, what is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is BTD and you probably noticed this. There's a little bit of something different about my face. This is not Minecraft anymore, is it? No, this is some GTA, which I thought I'd try out. Seeing as, you know, I want to spice the channel up a bit, you know, add some new content. And this is what I thought would be quite a good start in our road to expanding the channel would be trying out some GTA. And as you can see in the background there, we are at Los Santos County Sheriff, basically a police station where we are going to be trying out something new. Now, if you guys are familiar with GTA, you'll know there is such a thing called the L... something or other, LA... let me have a look. LSPDFR. Now, this is the mod that's let us become police officers. So, what we're going to do on is head on in. Hello? Nope, nobody at the desk today. We're going to head on in, go on duty, and go from there. So, let's go on in. Come on, take your time, take your time. We ain't got all day. Here we are. We are about to go on duty. As you see in the bottom right, it says postponing paperwork, which every copper wants to do, apparently. And we're going to go to our police locker and select what we want to wear today. Now, what can we wear? We can wear the Fed outfit, which this looks a bit more like just come off the desk for the first time. And then we've got the LSPD, which I think I'm going to go for this one. This one looks smart. We're going to add ourselves some as a senior officer. Confirm police garage. I want something fancy. I want a fancy, fancy car. As we're obviously, obviously we're a marked policeman, so we'll need a car that's oh, we've got a motorbike. We can go on marked if we wanted to, but I sort of feel like because we've got the outfit on, we don't need to. Let's go to the LSPD and we'll take out what's this on the Bravo Buffalo. Uh, you know what? Let's go with that. We can do that for the start. I should have really modified it, but. For now, we'll leave it as it is. So, as you can see, here is here am I. I am on duty. I am in my car. And as you can see down the bottom, it, says this, it does say we are on duty. And the Polito Bay Sheriff Office have successfully managed 35 days without a narcotics arrest. Is that a good thing? Apparently so. They've got a sign. But yeah, here we are. Here's my, my lovely, lovely car, as you can see. And if we do this, it comes up with... Shush. Um, all the stuff we need to know. So... We're going to go do a call for the first time, and I think that means us being available for calls. Or actually, we could just request one. Citizens report A503 on a we'll take it. Highway. We'll take it. So, catch up to the pursuit. Oh, God, he's coming our way. Let's see if I can... Oh. That wasn't meant to happen. Okay, we, we, we are alive again, uh, thankfully. My car is waiting for me. My car is like my boy. So let's try this again. I think that time didn't work very well. As you can see on the inside, this is meant to be a dodge. Wait, wait. See, so yeah, I think this is based off a dodge. If you guys know, it probably could be a Chevrolet as well. But this is our car. So what we're going to do is I just want to run around see how it all works. So... I think I need to find somebody to pull over. I think that'll be our main objective of today's episode. We might need to find somebody that wants to be pulled over. You know, that's a big old truck as well for Mrs. to be driving there. But, yeah, we'll just go along and see what we can find. Might be a person off the road. As you can see, there's mods. You know, there's a sap just parked there. There's a charger in there. Lovely. You know, we're just going to do a little bit of patrolling, you know. We're patrolling and making the most. You know, we are Mr... We're Officer BTD on patrol here today. Just, you know, patrol and see what we can find. And going from there, really. You know, I'm just going to look, be looking out for anything misleading. Anything that looks like it's going to cause harm to people. And we'll go from there. But yeah, for the sake of it, let's pull them over. Put the sirens on. You stop him. I don't think this is safe, the scene as this is right on a junction. Right, you know what? You follow me. Out the way. Follow. You not following me? Well, this didn't end the way I wanted it to. But you seem a little bit off. Come here. I would like a word, thank you. Uh, excuse me, ma'am. Could I ask for your ID, please? Okay, thank you, Asim. We are going to quickly run through the lovely database. Just to run your name. Just check everything is good. 
you know, so what we're going to do is you put your name in, Kag Awawa. I'm just going to see what comes back. So she was born in 1967, license is suspended, so good thing she wasn't um, driving a vehicle, and no warrants for her arrest. So why was your... Okay, so why was your... Um... Why was your license suspended? Let me have a look, little um, look at your... So let's go ahead and do you own... She was not really in a vehicle, so do you know the registration has expired? Sorry, sir, I'll renew it as soon as possible. Okay, but it was suspended, so... Uh, okay, let's go for... Just a quick question of what she's doing. It's none of your business. Okay, okay, so what we're going to quickly do is do a quick old breathalyzer test just to make sure you're doing all good, because there must have been a reason that you're suspended for... Check you're all good. Thanks. And are you good? Uh, okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to let you on your way. Sorry for, um, you know, your day. Have a good day. Thank you very much. You bore me. Get lost. I'll see you again. I don't know if you need to run off, but we'll take it. And we'll head on back on patrol. You know what? From when that guy nearly ran us down, I'm going to pull this guy over. He seems a bit odd. You know, I, I, I'm not one to let people run, so... Let's pull this guy on over. Hopefully he pulls over for us very soon. Oh, where are you going? Pull over for us. Nice. Thank you for that. Beautifully done. Quite a good spot, actually. Let's go and have an interaction, see what this dude's all about. Hello, sir. Hello. Can I have some identification for you from, from you, please? Oh, don't know, I ran off there. Okay, so we got a. I don't even know how to spell your name. I apologize. So, what we're going to do, like we always do, is quickly run his name through said database. Cran. Cran. Cranos. L C R O R. Okay, license is suspended. So, why are you driving, sir, huh? Out you get. I need to have a quick old word with you, sir. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to question you about um, your vehicle. Do you own that vehicle? I borrowed my mother's vehicle. Oh, ho, ho, ho. it's not even your vehicle, is it? So, what we're going to do is I want to quickly just ask where you're heading to, sir. I have the right to not answer. Okay, all right. That's all I wanted to ask. So I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly um, pat you down to make sure you haven't got anything that's going to stab me or stab you or hurt anybody around us. So just stand still and we will pat you down. Thank you for your uh, cooperation. We found a lockpick, wire cutter, a car key fob, obviously, and a condom. Okay, if that's what uh, you love to have. And we'll do a quick old breathalyzer test just to make sure you're safe to drive. Okay, uh, nope, you're all good on that front. And then we'll do a quick old a drug swap. Because, you know, we don't want anybody to do drugs and then go driving. It's very, very dangerous. And something we do not Thanks. condone. Um, you all good on that front? You're all negative. So, yeah, so, sir, as because your vehicle has been, or your license, should I say, has been suspended, I'm going to have to arrest you, sir. So if you'd like to turn around, please, put your hands behind your back, and I will slowly and as kind as I possibly can put some cuffs on you. I hope that's all good for you. So if you'd like to follow me, sir, we will um, put you in the back of my car and we'll take you over to the police station and get you all booked in. So thank you for your cooperation, though. You've been very, 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 very much needed. So I'm going to go ahead and open the door for you. If you'd like to jump on in, please. Thank you. And we'll get you right on over there, sir. Uh, somebody will come back to pick your vehicle up in due course, but for now, obviously, you're our main priority. We need to get you back on over as soon as we can. That was a nice little J-turn by me there. Or should I say U-turn? So yeah, um, hopefully you, you you think you're not going to do this again because, you know, you can't be driving without a license, you know what I'm saying? You're also suspended for a reason and you you got to stick to that, man. Come on. Yeah, if you guys want any more of um, GTA 5 stuff, like maybe like this, for example, where we go do some patrolling and all that good stuff, then let me know. I'm always up for stuff like this. So yeah, it's Trevor's truck as well. And what we'll do is we'll bring... I am a patrol car, so I'm coming around the back here. I will park up. 
And then, there we go. I will then escort by myself, you know? We can do this. You got to put him into a cell. Off we go. Oops. Come with me, hello, gentlemen. Just putting uh, another suspect down. Suspended license. We do not condone stuff like this, people. And then what I quickly do is release your handcuffs. Thank you, sir, for being obliging. Oh, okay, this is an odd, but it's doing it. Thank you very much. Appreciate your time. And yeah, that is another one locked up. See, what I think I'll do is I'm going to pull over here on the side of this road. Just pull over here. Like this. And I just want to do a little bit of, you know, checking over traffic. Making sure everything is good. Okay, sir, why are you going so slow past me? That's what I want to know. Why are you off so slow? There must be a reason for that. This is the type of things you always have to look out for. Little things like that. Why is he going so slow and things like that? He might just have a heavy load on. He doesn't want to damage anything. But that's something that, you know, you got to check out these days. you got to check out. So, what we're going to do, come up behind him. Going to make the stop. Wait for him to pull over if he does. They do have the ability to run, guys. So we're pulling him in. Very nicely done. Thank you for that. Okay, let's go have a little word. Hopefully, he'll be nice to us. You know, we don't we don't want to be that kind of guy. So, uh, hello, sir. Would you just like to... Um, would you just like to offer me some hello? form of identification of yourself, please? Thank you. And we'll run it through our database, Derek. So just give me one second, Mr. Hunt, and you'll be right on your way. Let me just run your name through, and we'll be all good. Derek Hunt. Just give me a minute, sir, and I'll be right back. License is suspended. Everybody's licenses seem to be suspended. So what I'm going to quickly do is jump in my vehicle, and we will have a quick check on this number plate. So, police radio uh, records, we will go for an 01 CO BO54. Okay, so nothing seems to be coming up about this vehicle, which makes me think that this guy, this is not a legal car or a truck, should I be saying? So, let's have a quick look at the front. Hmm. Sir, I'm going to ask you to step out the vehicle, please. Thank you very much. And, yeah, I'm just going to ask you a few little questions today. Confused and disorientated. Oh, the first ones you don't want to be found with. So what we're going to do is we're going to run a quick little pat down. Please keep your arms up, please, and make sure there's nothing there that um, is going to hurt me. It's going to hurt you. So what we found today, we found a small baggie of cocaine pepper spray a wallet and a citation ticket you've already got a citation sir this is not this is no excuse this is no excuse so what we're going to do is run a quick breathalyzer just to make sure you're within the limit of driving and we'll be sending you on your way soon sir Al blood alcohol level 87 percent oh, come on you can't be doing this stuff take a quick old drug swab because we did find cocaine on you Be positive for marijuana and ecstasy. Fortunately, sir, I will be arresting you today for Sir, do not make me gun you down. Come peacefully. Sir. Fortunately, I had to make the kill. He was going to kill me. Can we call for a certain type of... You know, like an ambulance, maybe? That's what I'm kind of looking for. <laughs> kind of looking for. Unfortunately, I don't think we do have any type of that at the moment. That's a mod that we're going to have to issue at a later point. But for now, unfortunately, he is a goner. We had no choice. He was going to shoot me down, if so. And that was that. The license plates did not add up, and neither did his stuff. He was over the limit. He was on drugs. Ugh. A very very bad cause for him dudes we're gonna call it here for our first day on patrol we have um 
nearly been killed. We have also given a arrest in and all that good stuff. So what I'm going to be hoping to do, guys, with this series is just, you know, add some more mods in, maybe like some transport, uh, different things like that. We'll be reviewing some other vehicles as well, like the Tesla. We should be out on the channel soon and all that good stuff. But yeah, from me, Officer BTD, I hope you guys have a good day. And I'll see you guys next time. But until then, peace out.